On that note, let's bring in Jonathan Turley, George Washington University law professor and a Fox News contributor, with the question of could Jamal Bowman end up facing charges? That is the you know question we all have in our minds today, Jonathan. What do you say? Yes. Well, I hate to be an alarmist, but uh, that is the role that Congressman Bowman has laid out for himself. I mean, he did, in fact, commit an act that is at least a misdemeanor under D.C. law. It can be treated as a felony if you believe he intentionally tried to disrupt the congressional proceedings. I think that's unlikely, but it most certainly can be charged as a misdemeanor, uh, a criminal misdemeanor. Now, does that mean that it's grounds for expulsion? I don't think so. I mean, I think that people have got to be very careful before they engage in the sort of expulsion compulsion. You know, you if you start to do this, uh, you're going to find a lot of folks uh, are pushing for the the expulsion of others. The fact that over hundreds of years we've only expelled five members should tell you something. They always had that power, but I think both sides recognize that down this road lies madness. If we start to expel members, it's going to become an insatiable appetite. Now, with the nuance that we have not seen the video, obviously Capitol Police circulated a photo, but for all we know, he is bumbling around trying to figure out how to open the door. We won't know until we see it. Um, but there have been comparisons made uh, between his, what happened with him on Saturday, impeding the government business of Congress and what happened on January 6th. Uh, are those fair comparisons to make, in your view? I don't think that factually it's, it, that you can compare this to a riot that stopped a constitutional process of certification. Now, if it's merely a technical comparison of if he intended to disrupt the proceedings, sure, you can, you can, you can make that comparison. But I don't think it warrants expulsion. I think it, it, mature minds have got to step back and say that it, it warrants some type of response, some penalty. But expulsion is the nuclear option. And, and who would be bringing the charge, Jonathan? Would it be D.C. police? D.C. police would refer this to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I, I'm sorry, the Capitol Appreciate Police it. would refer it. John. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.